In 4.1 and 4.2, you're going to learn about random variables. And these two sections are probably the hardest ones in the first half of the semester. So it's important that you understand random variables clearly and what it does. So definition of a random variable is a random variable assigns numerical value to outcomes in a random experiment. Each outcome is assigned one numerical value. So let's look at this random process where I flip a coin twice. And here, you're going to pay me $10 for every head that's flipped. And I'm going to pay you $8 for every tail that's flipped. This is a random experiment with four outcomes in sample space, namely the head and head, head tail, tail head, and tail tail. So here I'm going to let x be the random variable defined as my gain from this bet. It's important that for every, for all these random variable questions that you read exactly what is x is defined to be. So here x is going to assign numerical value to outcomes. So we're going to first determine the possible values of x. We're going to associate outcome from the sample space to numbers here. So I get $10 per head and I lose $8 per tail. Therefore, x is defined to be the number of head times 10 plus the number of tails times negative 8. So here, x has three possible values. x is going to be 20 on this outcome x is going to be 2 on these two outcomes, and negative 16 on this outcome. And this covers all the outcomes of the, from the sample space. Next, we're going to determine the probability associated with each value of x, which is the same thing as doing, associating the probability with the outcomes that are associated with that value that x has assigned it to. So h is assigned to be 20, so the probability that x equals 20 is the same as probability of head head, which is 1 fourth. And the probability of x equals 2 is the probability of head tail plus the probability of tail head, because both of these outcomes is assigned a value of 2, so the probability of x equals 2 is 1 fourth plus 1 fourth, which is 1 half, and then the probability of x equals negative 16. It's just probably with tail tail, which is one fourth. Finally, we're going to make the table. The outcome column isn't necessary, but it helps for you to associate the x's with the probability because they are linked by the outcome. So here again, we have probably x equals 20 is one fourth x equals 2 is 1 half, and x equals negative 16 is 1 fourth. And this table is called the probability density function.